Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. And if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you've probably seen that I got a little present the other day from Anova, the Anova Pro. I'm gonna do an unboxing and just a basic kind of test out of this right now. I'm not gonna do a full cook on it. I'm just gonna open box, test it out. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chill from fire and water. All right, guys, like I said, I'm not going to be doing any kind of cooks with this in this video. We're just going to do an unboxing, take a look at it. Um, one of the things we are going to do is going to test out just how quick it will heat up room temperature water in a 18 quart uh, container uninsulated container just to see just how fast this new Innova Pro can work now the Innova Pro is not aimed at your everyday ordinary home user for a sous vide unit that's what the regular Innova Nano the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi versions are for the Innova Pro is aimed at people that use it for catering restaurants uh, heavy uh, users like me who do videos stuff like that uh, people that are looking for more of a professional grade machine that will heat up a lot of water quickly it's made to last it's made to run for long long periods of, of time um, from what I understand this could run you know for a whole year you know without stop without any issues so that's what this Anova Pro is aimed at. It's not aimed at a regular consumer. Now there are regular consumers that might want a Pro model for different reasons. They, maybe they want the added uh, power so they can heat their water up faster. Maybe they want the added durability. Maybe they want the uh, you know just the overall better build quality than a consumer unit. And that's what it's aimed for. The, the Anova Pro is kind of in the same league as the PolyScience the vac masters that uh, usually run a lot more than the innova pro they run in those five six seven hundred sometimes a thousand dollar range just get that in mind the price tag is four hundred dollars that's not for everybody but like i said when you compare it to the other commercial grade units that are out there that are more than that this is a lot better deal so we're going to go ahead and give this a quick run around i'm going to take it out of the box and take a look at it set it up I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the first thing you notice, this is a nice big black heavy duty box. So, I mean, it really could be shipped in this box itself because it's so well made. Um, it's similar looking than the Innova uh, Nano box, but this is a lot bigger, of course, and thicker. I mean, it's really packaged really well. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. You got your little uh, instruction pamphlet here. That's kind of wrapped up in a little paper sleeve itself. The Pro just sits right in its little uh, area here. It does have some of the plastic wrap covering everything to kind of protect it during shipping. It, just taking it out of the box, everything feels a lot more heavy duty than the regular Novas. I mean, this... this uh, clip here is made out of aluminum instead of plastic so it's a lot more heavy duty than I can tell the uh, this area here seems like it's also made out of metal instead of plastic so I mean it just overall feels and looks a lot, a lot heavier a lot more heavy duty so the one thing I can notice is that it does have a very large uh, minimum maximum range, which means to me it can fit in smaller and bigger containers. The clip on this one, of course, is adjustable, so you can slide your clip up and down to go into different size containers. And especially with someone like me who does a lot of big uh, barbecue items and uses that, you know, uh, Coleman stacker cooler a lot that's important to be able to get make this thing so it can adjust to bigger and smaller so if I using my regular 12 quart cooler 
or uh, my 18 quart cooler and I can just need to use it in the other cooler it adjusts just fine so there that's what it looks like the I did measure this um, cord the other day it is four foot long so it is a little bit longer I guess than some of the other cords on the other units so that's it guys I mean it's it's a pretty pretty heavy duty I mean this is all metal here there's no plastic looking inside there's no plastic on the inside the propeller for the circulation is all metal the heating coils are all metal of course but um, like I said this is all very very heavy duty so I'm gonna go ahead and put peel off this plastic and we're gonna take a look at it I'll be right back all right guys the first thing we're gonna do is check out the instruction booklet which is very detailed has some great information how to get started how to adjust the clamp how to hook it up to Wi-Fi goes over the uh, LCD screen power rate of water flow and all that that's great one of the things you need to know right as of filming right now the uh, app will not work with the Innova Pro they're in the process of updating the Innova app and the, the Pro will be covered on that once you turn this on you'll see the LCD screen is nice and big and bright you can see it from across the room first thing we're gonna do is check out and see if the temp that it's reading from the water jives with what my instant read is and right away you can tell it is so it works really well that way so there you go we're gonna go ahead and try it out see what happens so, what I'm gonna test out now is just the basic functions of the uh, how it's gonna heat up the water so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this on I'm gonna adjust the temp here to it's 134 and then we're gonna do the time. Let's just do an hour. Well, let's let's do an hour. I'll do two hours. How's that? And all we're really gonna do is just see how fast it heats the water up to the 134. And we're gonna time that. And then, like I said, this is a 18 quart container. It's probably got about 15 quarts in it right now. It's about two third three quarters of the way full and that's where I normally do this container so I'm gonna go ahead and hit start you can tell it's 76.9 let's just see 76.6 so we're within a couple uh, a couple of uh, fractions of a degree so we're pretty good all right just hit start we're gonna let it run and I'm not gonna sit here for two hours with you guys we're just gonna I'm going to time it myself and then see how long it takes. Right now it is 11.17 in the morning. And when I come back, I'll tell you what time it is when it hits the uh, 134. And then we can kind of figure out how fast it heats up. But if you notice the first thing, it does circulate really well and it's very quiet. So just like I did with the other tests I do, I'm going to go ahead and put my put the microphone right down there by it and he can help that thing is super quiet and you can barely tell it's running but you see the amount of circulation that the water's uh, doing so it's very heavy duty you can tell it's really circulating that water and that's a good amount of water so all right I'll be back it's already up to almost 79 degrees so it's moving pretty quick. So 11.17 is when we started. It's now 11.18. And I'll tell you the time when we get back. As we're getting there, it's been right at 25 minutes from room temperature, water, 76 degrees to get to 134. It's getting ready, let's see how it, what it sounds like when it hits. So it's right at 25 minutes there you go now it's starting its countdown and I'm gonna test it with the instant read see where we're at 133.7 which is close enough it's actually once you get over here by the water by the unit itself 133.8 so that's uh, within tolerance as far as I'm concerned so there you go guys, 25 minutes to get from room temperature 
all the way up to 134. So I normally don't put room temperature water in it anyway. I usually put it in, it's usually about, you know, uh, 90 plus degrees at least when I put it in. So um, usually I, I could see this heating up uh, to my temperature, you know, 131 to 134 within 10 minutes. So there you go, it heats really quick, very quiet, very sleek, works well. The, the buttons are big enough the LCD screen's big enough, you don't have to, you know, strain your eyes to look at it. Can't wait for the new app to come out from Anova. I just uh, messaged Cole Wagner from Anova. He said it should be out any week now. So it's coming out this summer. The new Anova application and the Pro will be able to be used with it. So check it out, guys. The Anova Pro, it's for pros. It's got a price tag for pros, but it's got the durability and the stability for what pros need it for. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. I just had a uh, episode with Cole Wagner from Anova where we kind of talked about the Anova Pro and, and other things that Anova's working on. So check that out. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.